Hello and welcome back guys to our channel LPE Learning. In this video, we are covering the MCQs of Smart Grid and Smart City of the subject Emerging Trends in Electrical Engineering Part 2. If you are not seeing our previous part 1 for this series, then click on the above i button or link provided in the description box. If this video helps you, then like, share and subscribe our channel. If you want a detailed video on the smart grid and the smart city, then comment in the comment box. So now let's start our video. Question first. Electrical grid is a single entity with Option A, multiple generation plants and a transmission network. Option B, conventional generation plants and transmission network. Option C, multiple generation plants and distribution network. And option D, multiple generation plant, transmission and distribution network. So correct answer is option D, multiple generation plants, transmission and distribution network. Next question, smart grid and electrical grid that uses the information and communication technology. Option A to gather the data and act on the information. Option B to gather the data only. Option C to gather the information only. And option D to gather the data and not to act on the information. So correct answer is option A to gather the data and act on the information is a correct one. Next question. Question number third. Challenge faced by energy storage system of the smart grid is Option A, complex design and network. Option B, security. Option C, consumer awareness. And option D, stability of the power flow. So correct answer is option A, complex design and a network is a correct one. Next question, which of the following plays the crucial role in optimization of the cost of energy? Option A, microgrid. Option B, microgrid. Option C, smart grid. And option D, conventional grid. So correct answer is option D, Microgrid. Next question. A microgrid is designed for what? Usually for the certain community while the smart grid is designed for the electrical system. So correct answer is option A. Microgrid is designed for a small scale usually for the certain community while the smart grid is designed for the whole the electrical system. Next question. Function of the communication network in a smart grid is Option A, energy generation. Option B, control and connectivity. Option C, application. And option D, optimum use of energy. So correct answer is option B, control and connectivity. Function of the communication network in the smart grid is to control and connectivity. Next question, self-healing is a significant feature of conventional grid, smart grid, micro grid or the Macro grid. So correct answer is option B. Smart grid. Self-healing is the most important features of the smart grid. Moving toward the next question. A localized grouping of the electricity generation, energy storage and loads in terms as option A. Macro grids. Option B. Micro grids. Option C. National grid and option D. State grid. So correct answer is option B. Micro grid. Next question. A key feature of the microgrid is its ability to separate and isolate itself from the utility seamlessly during the grid disturbance. Next question. Following are the subdomains of the grid domains of smart grid. Option A. Generation domain only. Option B. Generation and transmission domain only. Option C. Generation, transmission and distribution domain only. And option D. Distribution and a transmission domain only. So correct answer is option C. Generation, transmission and distribution domain only. Next question. ISGTF abbreviation stands for Option A. Indian Smart Grid Task Force. Option B. International Spot and Guide Fellowship, Option C, International Smart Grid Task Force and Option D, Indian Standard Grid Task Force. So correct answer is Option A, Indian Smart Grid Task Force is the abbreviation of ISGTF. Next question. 
what is the stakeholder of the smart grid so correct answer is option b utility company is the stakeholders of the smart grid next question what is the full form for the dr in the perspective of the smart grid so correct answer is option b demand and the response is the full form for the dr next question greenfield development means option a implementing the greenery in the city option b implemented in the city area option c implemented around the city area and option d none of the above so correct answer is option c implemented around city area indian smart grid task force ISTFG recommended the numbers of pilot projects in the different distribution companies. Option A 20, Option B 18, Option C 14, Option D 16. So correct answer is Option C 14 is a correct one. Next question. Transform the Indian power sector into the secure, adaptive, sustainable and digitally enabled ecosystem that provides the reliable and quality energy for all with active participation of the stakeholders option a microgrid vision for the india option b smart grid vision for the usa option c smart grid mission for the india and option d smart grid vision for the india so correct answer is option d smart grid vision for the india next question power grid and ic engines of the vehicles next question Microgrid can be operated said to be in Iceland mode when? Option A. It's a function synchronously. Option B. It's function autonomously. Option C. It's function synchronously. And option D. It's a stop functioning. So correct answer is option B. It's a function autonomously. Microgrid can be operated said to be Icelandic mode when it's function autonomously. Next question. Hybrid electrical vehicle are which type of the drive system? Option A single drive system, option B two drive system, option C both A and B and option D none of the above. So correct answer is option B two drive system. Hybrid electrical vehicles are the two drive system. Next question BEV stands for. So correct answer is option C battery electrical vehicle is the abbreviation of BEV. Next question. Which of the following is a feature of the smart city? So correct answer is option D, all of the above. That is preserving and developing the open space. Option B, promoting the rapid transient system and providing the online services are the features of the smart city. Next question, electronic service delivery is the part of which smart solution? Option A. E-governance, option B, water management, option C, energy management and option D, urban mobility. So correct answer is option A, E-governance, electronic services delivery is the E-governance part of the smart solution. Next question, retrofitting in smart city means, option A increases the area of the city, option B decreases the area of city, option C making existing area more efficient and livable and option D increase the infrastructure base. So correct answer is option C making the existing area more efficient and livable is called a retrofitting. Next question. Hendi Bazaar project in the Mumbai is an example of Option A, retrofitting, option B, redevelopment, option C, greenfield development and option D, pan city development. So correct answer is option B, redevelopment. Bhendi Bazaar project in Mumbai is example of the redevelopment. Next question, smart metering is a part of option A, water management, option B, energy management, option C, A and B, option D, none of the above. So correct answer is option C. Smart metering is a part of water management and energy management. Next question. Pan city development is related to provide the smart solution for what? Option A. Existing infrastructure of the city. Option B. New infrastructure of the city. Option C. Outside of the city. And option D. New city. So correct answer is option A. Existing infrastructure of the city. Pan city development is related to provide the smart solution for the existing infrastructure of the city. Next question. 
which of the following is not included in the smart city mission option a mumbai nashik kolhapur and aurangabad so kolhapur is not included in the smart city mission next question which of the following is a not a part of electrical vehicle option a battery option b ic engine option c controller and option d motor so correct answer is option b ic engine is a not a part of electrical vehicle when the two batteries are connected in series then which rating is added option a voltage option b current option c voltage and current and option d power so correct answer is option a when the two batteries are connected in series then voltage added next question the typical charging time for the 50 kilowatt bev for 100 km travel is option a 1 to 2 hours option b 2 to 3 hours option c 10 minutes or option d 20 to 30 minutes so correct answer is option d 20 to 30 minutes a typical charging time for the 50 kilowatt bev for 100 km travel is a 20 to 30 minutes a fuel cell vehicle emits option a water option b heat option c both a and b and option d carbon so correct answer is option c fuel cell vehicle emits water and heat both next question which charging station is known as a fast charging station option a residential option b parking option c public and option d parking and public so correct answer is option c public charging station is known as a fast charging station now moving toward the last question which charging station is known as a fast charging station option a residential option b parking option c public and option d parking and public so correct answer is option c public charging station is known as a fast charging station so how was the session this is the end of this video if this video helps you then like share and subscribe our channel lp ee learning